Hello and welcome to Hiking Sweden. Today we're hiking the Sermans Trail once again. We are starting on the 11th part of the Sermans Trail in Järna and we're going to hike all the way to Legesta. It's around 60 kilometers, so we are going to have a really nice time. We are going to see abandoned mining shafts. We are going to have some great views from a couple of mountains. We are going to have a long way to hike and have a couple of nights in my tent. So it's going to be really fun. It's nice to have you with me. If there is anything you'd like me to talk about in my coming episodes, please just leave a comment and I will answer as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Let's have a really nice trip together. Look at this nice crossing. We are just at the start at the 11th part of the Sermons Trail. There are a few people here and uh, yeah, we have around 60 kilometers of hiking ahead of us. For a couple of days uh, we are going to be hiking together from Järna to Mariefred, <laughs> which is two small cities in the lower part of Sweden and uh, yeah. We are at the start, looking at this beautiful view. Today is Thursday, I'm actually off work, so it feels amazing. We are out in the woods again. And uh, yeah, the temperature is around 20 degrees, really warm, a bit sweaty actually. We're going to have three or four fantastic days ahead of us. We will see if we get home on Saturday or on Sunday. Depends on our pace and if we see something funny that we want to take a closer look at. Uh, the time is 11 o'clock and we have been hiking for around an hour. We are closing into lunch. I just had a small break, drank some water and uh, I'm starting to get a bit hungry but we are going to go on for one hour more. I'm sweating a lot and uh, I'm getting really thirsty. So on our mission today is not only eating food and setting up a tent but also probably getting more water because the water I have with me around two liters are going to need a refill during the day. Some parts of uh, this part of Sörmlandsleden I've actually walked before. Right now we are on the 11th section of uh, the Sörmlands Trail and I think if I remember it correctly I've walked section 13 and 14 uh, last summer but they are really nice parts and uh, it's going to be so fun to show them to you because they are my favorite parts of the Sörmlands Trail. So I found a nice shaded place in the in the forest to uh, make some food. I also found a spring to get some water. So we are all set to make some lunch. So I was sitting here minding my own business <laughs> and uh, like 20 hiking girls and one guy came along. Pretty sp special experience. They were just hiking along this section of the Sermans Trail uh, and then they, they were going to, to stop hiking and uh, yeah, they wanted to me to take a photo of them, which I did because I'm, I'm trying to be a nice person on the track even though I wish that I could be alone. <laughs> so uh, yeah, met all of those people the spring. Uh, was enough for all of us, so we all got the water we wanted and now it's time for food. Today we have a goulash which is, I think it's a Romanian soup from the beginning uh, and uh, yeah, we Swedes eat it a lot even though we can't really, we can't really make a real goulash but uh, anyway we, we do our own uh, version of it. Oh, damn, it's so warm. Mm, it's really good. This is made by a company named Blobband, 
which is a Swedish company. So if you ever go to Sweden or if you order online, you could pr probably get a hand of these. I wish I had some bread to eat to this. I have bread, but that's for breakfast or I'm gonna make bread. Now it's time to move along. Time is 12.45, so uh, yeah, we're going to start hiking and hopefully we're going straight from the 11th to the 12th part of the Sörmans Trail. Uh, hopefully, with a little luck, we can finish the 12th part of the Sörmans Trail today. If we don't, we are going to sleep somewhere along the 12th part of the Sörmans Trail. The 12th part is around 9 kilometers and we have about 4 kilometers left on the 11th part of the Sörmans Trail. There we go, ready to hike. We have found something pretty cool. It's an old mining shaft. Awesome, right? I'm gonna show it to you. Look here. We can actually go a bit further, but not that far. Pretty steep. <laughs> I don't want to fall down. Oh, look at this. Pretty cool, right? It's totally filled with water. So this is the way I came down. And here we are now. And there is a small guy over here. Look at him. So there is a fence here. If you look this way, you can see it. Yeah. So I guess that means that you are not recommended to enter here, but I did, so you should not do it. You can look at my video and see what it looks like. Pretty cool. Anyway, let's continue. 50 meters more <laughs> and I had found an entrance to the mining shaft. So uh, here we are. Let's enter it. The mud is so deep, so I don't think I'm gonna walk any further in. But as you can see, yeah, it's pretty cool. Over there is where we were before. If you look at the mud here, you can actually see the iron in the mud. Pretty cozy, right? I think this is the fourth or fifth uh, mining uh, shaft that I'm passing. They are all water filled, so good thing we entered that first one. It would be so cool if we could get so lucky to find like a mining shaft that were a little bit deeper. I think they're all water filled, but wouldn't it be cool to go down there and do some exploring? <laughs> Not a chance. So we're at the end of the 11th part of the Sermons Trail. We are now uh, continuing on the 12th part of the Sermons Trail. The afternoon sun is burning pretty hot right now. I have walked about two kilometers since we started on the 12th section. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's really warm. I'm sweating a lot. I'm getting thirsty, so uh, soon it's time for my first break on this section of the trail to drink some water and regain some energy. I think I'm gonna be able to end this section today as well. So we are going to be hiking around 20 kilometers today. Uh, most, the most part is already done. We have about maybe seven kilometers left today, but I think that we will be able to do that. So I've climbed up a small mountain and uh, I'm actually pretty tired now, but uh, only about four kilometers to go. So we are gonna press on and we are gonna fix this. Uh, the uphill was so steep. So uh, I'll march on and uh, about four, four more kilometers to go. Nice, so we have gotten down to a really nice lake. Check this out, this looks amazing. So it looks quite a bit better in the real world. It looks really nice. Now I'm coming 
a bit closer. Look at this. And then we have the trail. Whoa, look at this. Finally, we made it to the end of uh, section 12. Now I'm gonna raise my tent and make some food. Feels so good. I'm, a s I'm so tired. <laughs> So the tent is pretty much done as you can see uh, and um, yeah I need to, to straighten the lines a bit but I've started eating my food. I was so hungry and I was so thirsty so I actually started the food, raised the tent, ate the food and uh, yeah we're close by to, we're close to a lake. I'm starting to becoming a human again. So for tonight's food we had some pasta with cheese and broccoli from Blue Ribbons again. Uh, this one was really good. So, pasta, durum wheat, uh, <coughs> vegetables, broccoli, red pepper, carrot, parsnip, onion, cheese powder, 9.8%, that's much, yeah. Palm fat, modified potato starch, cream powder, uh, lactose, salt, sugar, milk, protein, whey powder. I've also made some tea. You've been longing and longing for like the last two hours I was just like can't I stop and just uh, just put up the tent here and my brain said no you gotta go on. So I did. Now I'm here and it's so nice to eat food, drink tea, and be done. Around 20 kilometers today. Usually that's that's okay for me, but today it was hard. It was really hard. I don't know why. There we go. I'm in the tent, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna settle down in here. Maybe read something. I've taken a bath uh, for my feet and uh, cleaned myself up. So good morning. I woke up maybe 30 minutes ago. Time to get up. Get some breakfast. Oh my god, I, I look really tired. So this is what Camp Anton looks like now. Time for some coffee. Today I'm actually drinking freeze-dried coffee. Not as good as regular, but it's okay. Okay, it's time for us to leave. Gonna get my backpack on and then we gonna continue hiking. There we go, time to leave. So far this trip has been amazing. I was actually thinking about doing an hour long episode from this hike, but uh, yeah, I don't actually have the batteries to film that much. So that's a problem, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you as much as I can. The first battery is soon bur burnt out for the camera, so that's a problem. Because we have more than like two and a half days more to hike, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna save some battery gonna only show you what I think is interesting for you guys and not <laughs> waste away my battery life. So time for some lunch. I'm waiting for the water to boil and uh, yeah I've been walking around 10 kilometers so far today so uh, yeah quite a quite a long bit. Uh, yesterday I only did five kilometers before lunch which uh, I think that was why I thought that yesterday was such a hard hike 
since I did uh, 15 kilometers in the afternoon. Today we're not going to have to walk that far during this afternoon, which feels amazing. That's why I pressed on. So uh, yeah, 10 kilometers finished and uh, I don't know how many we need to hike today, but yeah, I don't think we need to get that far. Really nice place. After this, I'm gonna hike up a mountain and we are going to look at the view from there. It's going to be amazing. I'm gonna start out with some coffee since my food is so warm, it needs to cool off a bit. For lunch, we have some chicken tikka masala uh, from Real Termat, which is, yeah, you've seen it before from me. Norwegian company, makes lots of good food. Uh, I think it's actually better than uh, Blue Ribbons, the other company I've shown you. It's really good. Time to move out. We have a lot of climbing ahead of us. So, uh, yeah. It's going to be hard. But we are going to make it. And then look at the fantastic view. The reason I know this is the because I've hiked this part before. Okay, time to get ready for some climbing again. This time we won't get a nice tower, but nice view anyway, I th think, if I remember it correctly. Oh my god, look at this. Amazing view. Fantastic. Maybe you understand now why this is my favorite part of the Sermons Trail. It's so beautiful. Bam. <laughs> and all the nice view spots. This is section 14. So if you ever want to just do one section of the Selmans Trail, you should do section 14. Now it's downhill. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm a bit thirsty, but uh, yeah. I'll stop and drink soon. Around maybe two to three kilometers to go today. So not that much. I'm still up in the in the mountains. As you can see. There we go. I have stopped for today and uh, this place is amazing. I'm going to show you guys around and Gonna set up my tent, get some food. I'm starting to get hungry. Watch this. Such a good spot. Just by the lake, put a few meters up. And also there is a fire pit here. Time to set up the tent. So I've uh, made some dough, 
uh, I have some uh, flour and uh, baking soda, some milk powder, some oil, some uh, Graham uh, powder. Dinner is served. We have some birch tea. It, this is actually the first time I'm testing this, so uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's still w very warm. And we have the bread I made. It's not the most beautiful bread ever, but. Tastes good and it's going to be very nice together with our taco stew. It's still still very hot but maybe I could take some bread. Mm. And dip. Mm. Good idea, Anton. Okay, so basically, I've I've made this mix at my home, put it in a vacuum sealed bag, and uh, yeah, you just add water and some oil. This is just the second time I make uh, make bread on the trail, so uh, yeah, I've got a. You gotta start practicing to make some real food. We don't have that much left to hike. Uh, tomorrow I think we have around 15 kilometers. And then we're done. Okay, gotta try some of this tea as well. It smells like tea. Small bitterness, uh, tastes quite green, but uh, birch tree, uh, the leaves are said to uh, have high amounts of uh, vitamin C, so they should be good for you. I should have had some sugar for this as well. I think it's not sweet enough, it's just, uh, just a little bit bitter, and then uh, you have the green taste. It tastes like photosynthesis <laughs> or something like that. I'm gonna continue eating my food and uh, yeah, then I'll just chill out here. The time is 6.20 pm and uh, we are pretty dumb for today. Some snacks. Half a cliff bar. I really recommend these. These are so good. Nice weather, a fireplace. Life is good. It's been a nice day. These are the best. Real beef snacks. So good. They look like this. So they are like small sticks. And taste amazing. So next week, and a week after that, I don't know if I'm... Uh, uh, go in hiking. Next weekend I might be busy and the weekend after that I'm working so but I'm gonna see to it that we get some videos anyway on the channel. If there is anything you want me to 
talk about, do a video about, tell me. And also, if you have a question or something like that, I'm gonna answer all questions in the next video. Time to get into the tent. It's starting to get a bit cold outside actually. But when I close up this tent, it's going to be warm. Okay, so are my boots clean? Pretty much. That's good. There we go. And the second one. How does it look? Looks okay. I'm gonna use this shirt to stuff my pillow. This is my uh, backup clothes, which I use as a, as a pillow. Okay, the tent is closed, sealed up. And I hear some mosquitoes on the outside. The mosquitoes have arisen from the dead. <laughs> they are awake now, and uh, that's a bit of a bugger. Because, uh, yeah, mosquitoes are the worst thing about Swedish summer. So with me, I have uh, a power bank, always. It's from the company SAG. And this power bank, it says that it's enough for like six charges. But not really, but it's enough for four, maybe four charges. And that's good enough for me. I always bring this with me, always charged. I also have a small comb, not for my hair, it's actually to comb my beard. Okay, I think it's time to close up the, the wall. Uh, I'm going to say good night. I think it's time to wrap this day up. So it's time to sleep. It's really cozy here. But pretty dark as you can see. So uh, yeah, time to sleep. See you all tomorrow. Good morning. This is the view from my bedroom. Pretty nice, isn't it? Time to get up, get some breakfast and get going. Okay, time for some breakfast. I have my coffee, real coffee, from Grower's Cup here. Well, actually, the container is from Grower's Cup, and the rest I have filled it up with coffee. And then we have some some oatmeal with uh, with some chocolate and fruit. Can I open it up here? Okay, so today we're gonna hike the last part, and uh, and we're gonna get home. So after breakfast, I'm gonna go empty the tent, pack it down, and get going. Time to pour the coffee. Look at this. Oh. Okay, we have some, we have half a cup left to take later. So it's time to get going soon. First I'm gonna drink my coffee, then I'm gonna pack the tent, and then we're off. We're, I think we're going to have a great weather today too, just as yesterday. Time to roll.
I need to do a refill of water in about six to seven kilometers. There should be a spring there. Uh, hopefully it has some water in it. If not, I'm gonna need to take water from a lake. But hopefully we have a solution. If not, I'm gonna find another way to, to get water. We have about one liter of water, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'm not gonna die. It's going to be a warm day and you want some more water. So look at the view. Amazing, isn't it? You can see pretty far here. So, the 14th uh, section of the Sermons Trail is done. We are at the end sign here. And we are going on to the 15th. Uh, we are closing in to the spring to get some more water. But I'm gonna take a quick break here and drink some. There we go. I've gotten a refill with water and I'm gonna Continue hiking uh, at the next water spring. I'm gonna take a break for lunch and then we're gonna finish this trail. Amazing. It is lunch time. Uh, Real turmet again, some pulled pork. It's gonna be nice. The water is boiling. I've uh, found a water spring, gotten me some, some water. It's nice and cold. Uh, it tasted really good as well. So now I'm gonna just chill out for a bit and then we're gonna continue. It's time for some pulled pork. As always, the food is so warm. Let's have a taste. Mm. This may be a new favorite. So this is uh, this is pulled pork from Real Termet. We've hiked around 50 kilometers since when I started the day before yesterday. And I feel like I'm, I'm actually a bit tired. So we have a couple of more kilometers to go, but I'm gonna end the recording here. Uh, the last kilometers is uh, not that beautiful. So I'm just gonna focus on getting home and uh, put the camera down. It has been good to have you with me. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions to the coming episodes, please be sure to subscribe and comment in the video below. All comments or questions, I will take them with me into the next video so I can be better and also answer all your questions. My name is Anton and this is Hiking Sweden and thank you so much for watching this.